Good morning. Yes, I'm in my living room. I've got my coffee and my toast. And I will be watching Toast of London on there. And, and, there's, and there's the cat. And she wants to go outside. But, ah, we're in space. Isn't this nice? Good morning. Yes, it's starting from a different view today. Because why not? Hair's still damp from shower, so forgive that. Anyway, should we pick some orders? Seeing as we're up, why not? <laughs> Hi, by the way, in case I haven't said that. All right, I've got two Etsy orders. They're both in the same box. It's handy, isn't it? Um, not that one. This one, little bag of rings. So, sold this, pretty cool. Lovely brutal, Brutalist Amethyst ring. Isn't that awesome? And then, what else is it? Oh, the snakey ring. Nice one. So, snake ring that I bought in, I'm going to say Leon. Yep, yeah, Leon 2. Um, made in the 1910s to 20s by a designer called Jacqua. Jacqua. And it is a uh, world gold with a little red stone. Pretty cool. Oh. Sorry, let me just show you this ring. I've had this ring for, for a while and I can see why it's not to everyone's taste. I, c I don't think I could wear it myself, but I love it. It is um, gold plate over sterling silver with the hugest citrine in it, with the most beautiful cut. Absolutely stunning. No one's gone for it yet. It is quite the chonk, but yeah, just thought I'd show you that. No, wrong bag. Let me start from there. Just back in there. Uh, close down Etsy. Close, close, close. And then I've got five eBay orders. Are there any of them in number one thirty? Where I've got it. Oh yes. Um, a blue sparkly costume round. Good job I didn't put that thing back then, isn't it? Right. Let's see if I can find it without tipping the whole bag out, which is what I have to do sometimes. There it is. Nice vintage blue sparkly costume ring. That sold for four ninety nine. The colours on that absolutely lush. Very cool. Get that back. In the bag. Get it, get in. Why are you being funny now? There we go. Right, next box is number 450. And it looks like I've sold something else from a, a French adventure as well. I have sold this cool 60s. This was also from Leon too, so I've got some updating to do. This really cool deep plastic um, hair barrette. So that's pretty cool. That sold for eleven ninety nine. I'm going to a repeat buyer, which is always nice. All right, box number three thirty. some bangles in here. Well, it's all bangles and I'm looking for a bracelet so you think that would be quite easy. There it is. Found it. This little carnelian square on a um, bit of suede I think it is. It looks like suede anyway. That's all right. $8.99. Um, box $2.50. Looking for a Jasper necklace. That's a pretty one. The colours on this one is amazing. And they got a bargain, but it's been on my store for a while, so, you know, can't keep everything. There it is. Look at the beautiful colours on that. That's really cool. Make sure it is the right one. It's got a hook clasp. Yep, yeah, that's the right one. Jolly good. Three hundred and 
40. Gunmetal grey. That one looks like big kind of one. Just check the clasp and make sure it's the right one. Oh yeah, that's definitely the right one. They got a bargain on that. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Again, probably been on my store for a while and reduced down. So that's not so bad, is it? I've got a couple of things else to show you today, but I'm going to package these up first and then I'll let you take a look. Shout out also to Michelle. Hello, Michelle. I will be responding to your email in a second. And you also get one of these. Woo <laughs> Anyways, this is what I want to show you. So this is a little jewellery display board that I bought off of eBay secondhand. It's like a bamboo uh, shop display thing you can see it second hand because it's got a little bit of weight but um yeah i was trying it out last night with some some things that i've uh, acquired this week which is pretty cool um look at that just look at that in it also that one yeah um so yeah i think this this is really cool basically like i was looking for something that in case i did end up getting a shelf in the vintage shop down the road. I'm hoping that this would fit in their cabinet, but I think it might just be about that much too long, which isn't the end of the world because I quite like it as like a potential whatnot display type thing. You know, if I'm doing like a really fancy show, and um, this is like really fancy stuff on here, um, that it will be good for that. What do you reckon? Yes, I know. I, I think it's pretty cool anyway. Um, also, you might recognise if you've been watching some one not shows. I bought that from Love and Hammers. Um, and what else was there? Is there any, something? Oh, and that from here as well. Um, and then there's some stuff that I found out. Um, like, but I bought I bought that from Cash Generator the other day. That's really nice. Um, and then I've got some eBay purchases. And um, yeah, I'm really chuffed with these rings. They're there. Lovely, big and chunky. Anyways, yeah, so distraction. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. And Shizumar has come to join us. Hello. And you beautiful girl. You come for cuddles. Yeah. Because why not, eh? You're the cat gets all the attention. You deserve some because you're beautiful. Yeah, you are. Oh, sniff, sniff. As per usual, it is raining. But I still thought that I needed a little bit of fresh air today, so I thought I'd come out. I've got a bag of donations for the charity shop. Um, this one has got some cat-related stuff in it, so I'm taking it to the, the first one, which is the RSPCA shop. So, and then we'll have a quick look around the shops. I don't feel hungry because I had my uh, toast at about half seven this morning. It's only half eleven. And uh, I think I'll be all right, but I might stop for coffee. We shall see. Depends how I feel and depends on the amount of rain. <sighs> Anyways, charity shops, here we go. Well, I think the rain has stopped. Oh, what's happening here? Well, apparently it's going to be another pub. Just what the gen needs, honestly. Like we need another vape shop or whatever, but hey ho. Anyways, let's find our way through and go to Surrider, Surrider, and see what we have. Oh. Denby put the wrong colour. Oh. oh no, we like the dark, dark blue is the one we have. Oh well, it's a shame in it. Fine bone china. Oh. Looks like they've just had a delivery of weirdy bits. Little figures and things, wooden lamp. Old books. Ah. I never bother looking through the clothes in here because I just don't want to do clothes. I might just ban myself altogether from clothes because they take up too much space. 
And they're too much effety. Mm. And then I got a vintage Cindy, Cindy bath with the lovely brown towels. But she's pretty cool though. Aww. Probably trying a tea set, £10. And next to me, she's got a little spring window. Oh, the little lamb. Vintage shoes. Anything in the bag? Why am I looking at clothes? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Wow, very cute. Cute little picture dominoes. God knows what that's about. <laughs> No wooden ones, no wentworths. Nothing there. There's probably something in there that's worth a lot of money, but I, d I don't do toys. this game treasure hunt oh my god you have to pretend to be annika rice now that's a throwback isn't it and now quite randomly we're gonna have a new piercing place ear piercing intimate piercings mm, okay bit of heart foundation what's in the window here oh bunnies and lambkins mm. oh, they're quite nice mugs Star Wars books. Got some nice brooches and things, but they're a little bit pricey. But that little pink one there is quite nice in the butterfly, but they're just a little bit too too much for me. But never mind. A little nosy at the bric a brac. Instead of dominoes, mogginos. Cute. This place is closing down, but it could just be a rumor. They were having a, everything a pound sale the other day. I bought one thing and then I ended up having a hole in it. Cute little top, unlifted. But again, I'm not looking for clothes, so stop it. Da, da, da. Good vibrations, that's what I'm looking for. And now we're in the PDSA. Bit of glass there, a little bit of gold plate. Mm, fun little heart one. That'd be quite nice for someone with a toggle clasp. Don't think there's anything for me though. No, not today. Never mind. And now, a quick look at the fireplace. Little Easter chickies. Oh, we've got one of them for Tilda. She broke it. Twat. Have a look on the brickety brack shelves. Live your life because someone else's is a bit weird. Another sheep. Bakaba? Bakaba? Mm, no idea. Oh, kitty cat money box. Mm. This one's really inspiring me. Well, you probably all go in like, get that, get that. I don't know, it looks like effort. Oh, birdie. <laughs> oh. Charity chops done. I'm just gonna check on the progress of the, the new one. They're still not open, but it's looking quite full in there. 
get closer. So still no date by the looks of it. It's definitely getting there. It's huge. Can we see where the jewellery section is going to be? Oh, it's down there. Can you see anything? I mean, it's got to be soon, isn't it? What day is it today? I mean, it might even be tomorrow, but then surely they put a sign up saying, open tomorrow. Who knows? Anyways, I'm in home bargains. I don't... It's 20 past. Don't actually need anything, but... Actually, no, I do. I need some noodles. And typically, it looks like they don't do the noodles that I eat anymore. The American noodles. Yep, it, yep. I think they're, they're, no, bugger. Well, there we go. I'm finished in town. It's half 12. I did consider going for a coffee or grabbing some lunch from Subway, but I might as well just go home and have food in it. It's free at home, comparatively. Anyways, stay tuned for my huge home bargains haul. Are you ready for the huge haul? I don't think you are. Uh, some cat food, some cat treats, some red cabbage, not for the cats, and a Vimto. <laughs> See that delivery there? Oh yeah, I've moved some books up here. That, uh, well the top box probably will be uh, what we're unboxing on Sunday's uh, Whatnot. But tonight's Whatnot, on at seven, I'm gonna be doing picks from this lot, starting at a pound each. And I've got some, some cool bits in here. I hope you guys think so too, yes. Anyways, I'm gonna do my afternoon post and I will show you what they are once I pick them all. Okay, this is what's going out this afternoon. This helmet, helmet. Um, I bought it when I, I tried to do uh, roller derby lessons like a while ago. And um, I broke my toe on the first lesson, so that was great. <laughs> Anyways, I got 20 pounds for that. Here we go. Um, this Mother of Pearl Lion Lisan style necklace, £17.59. A 70s Brutalist style uh, with what looks like a tiger's eye, but it's not. It's glass in there. That went for £5.59. This Pylones, Pylones ring went for £20. Um, this Ethnic Trade Bead style necklace, seven, uh, £9.71. Three kind of fake light, fake baker light style bangles, twelve pounds seventy nine, and some dangly earrings with some little dried flowers in the top bit there. They went for six pounds thirty nine. So before my battery dies, I should really should say goodbye, and I hope you join me tonight at uh, seven o'clock on whatnot. And if not, I'll see you later on in the week. Okay, bye bye now, bye bye.